first in a short series of quick tips and tricks with the Behringer Crave. And yes, you read that correctly, I'm now gonna show you how to make a three oscillator sound with a single oscillator synth. There's no magic involved, these are all pretty standard techniques, but throw them all together and you get some nice thick tones from the Crave. And the sound you just heard in the intro was made using the three oscillators on the Crave that are capable of making audible and tunable tones. That's obviously the VCO. The VCF can as well, because it's self-resonant and we can track the resonance. And also the LFO, because that goes into audible rates as well. I'll go through each individually in a minute, but just to show you, let's put this straight on oscillator and the resonance on zero. That's just the VCO. I've got it on a pulse with PWM. So let's just flick it over to a sawtooth. Nice and simple. The second oscillator I've got running is the LFO, and that's tracking the keyboard as well, and it's coming into the external. So just listening to the external. That's the LFO. So let's just take that out for a minute. We should hear nothing. And let's turn the resonance up. And that's our third oscillator. So let's have a look at how to do each of these individually. Let's start off with the VCF, shall we? Let's unplug everything. The filter's self-resonant, so it'll play a tone, which is a sign, but let's just put an external audio back in so that we're not listening to the oscillator, we're listening to nothing coming through the external audio. That's here. So that's obviously not tracking the keyboard. So to track the keyboard, put keyboard CV out. If we put that straight into the VCF cutoff. It's not in tune, is it? So what we do is we need to tune it using the VC mix. So we put it into VC mix two. And we put the VC mix out into the cutoff. Ooh, almost so and we use this to tune it so near enough so uh, almost at three o'clock just maybe between two and three and maybe quarter to three almost if that makes sense so now we're tracking the pitch of the cutoff using the keyboard so if we bring the vco back in we can hear it slightly out of tune so let's tune the cutoff so they are playing the same note that's not very interesting, is it? So maybe let's play an octave higher. There you go, two oscillators with an octave interval. Let's change that interval, shall we? Make it something more interesting. Maybe something a bit lower. That's oscillator two effectively, but the trouble with using the filter to do this is that you lose your filter. So if you still want to use the filter, we can use the LFO because the LFO is an oscillator as well and it does go into audible range. So let's put the LFO square into the external audio. Turn this just to external audio only. So you can get some thunderous bass tones from that, can't you? But again, it's not tracking the keyboard. So let's take the keyboard CV and put that into the LFO. Whoa, it's almost there on the octave, isn't it? But not quite. But actually, if you're only playing a few notes, like that little riff in the intro, it actually works okay. So 
So if you bring in the VCO now. You can start getting some nice intervals. Or just a thick sub. Tuning's really delicate on it because the knobs are so small, but... But you can get there in the end. Two oscillators. It's simple sound. You're not using the LFO for anything because you used it up as an oscillator, but it's still sounding lovely, that, isn't it? Let's turn it down a bit. So you've now got access to the filter, you've lost the use of an LFO, but for these sort of tones... It works a treat, doesn't it? And as we've got access to the filter, we can obviously use the envelope. Bring back in the LFO as a modulation source. All really nice, that. And we can still do a bit of FM style stuff with the oscillator because we can use the pulse width and modulate the oscillator with the LFO as well. So beautiful fat tones from that. So let's go back now to try and make that into a three oscillator tone. We're gonna need the keyboard CV for the LFO and for the filter, so we'll put it into the multiple input. Multiple output one, we'll put to the LFO rate. And multiple output two, we'll put into the mix one, and that's so that we can tune the filter. And the VC mix out, we'll put into the VCF cutoff input. So with this at almost three o'clock, let's turn the resonance up. And there we go, we've got three notes. And the resonance now almost acts like, well does act like a volume control for that third oscillator. And you've got a mix between oscillator one and the LFO. Then mix in the VCF oscillator. So there we have it. Three oscillators from a single oscillator synth. And everything that works here works on the Moog Mother 32 as well. So I hope that was of some use to somebody somewhere. See you next time.